is a light heavyweight showdown between Mauricio Shogun Hua and Little Nog Antonio Rogerio Noguera. So here is Rogerio Noguera, the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, has been one of the better boxers this light heavyweight division has ever hosted. Sound defensively, top five in terms of his striking and takedown defense among active light heavyweights. Unfortunately for Little Nog, injuries have been a big part of the narrative, but when he's been healthy enough to make the walk, more often than not, he has realized success. Rogerio Noguera has some of the best boxing in the UFC's light heavyweight division, and along with it, a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He has medaled in international competition in amateur boxing, and his accuracy is second to none. Well, this really is as beloved a fighter as there is on this UFC roster. The former UFC light heavyweight champion, Mauricio Shogun Hua, turned back the clock recently with the knockout of John Volante. That was his 20th career knockout. But Shogun Joe still very much hungry for more. We'll see how it plays out for Mauricio Shogun Hua here tonight. Mauricio Shogun Hua is one of the legends of mixed martial arts. His time in pride established him as one of the most devastating strikers in the history of the sport. He is the quintessential shoot to box Muay Thai berserker striker. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. We send it inside the octagon, we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the boxers holding professional record of 23 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Antonio Rogério Nogueira. And now this is opponent fighting out of the red corner. A Muay Thai kickboxer holding professional record of 25 wins, 11 losses. He's down six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting at a Cura team of Brazil! Over the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, third man in the octagon go, 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 for this one. Just misses with the jab. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Side leg kick lands there. Joe, that is one well-timed overhand by Noguera. Showing the punch. Nice punch by Hua. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. That landed. And he switches his stance yet again. And now he's got the double underhooks. Noguera is able to attain the underhook here. Nice job to pummel. Now let's see what he can do. With. Oh! He's got him hurt here. Oh, huge shot there. Spin punches. Oh. oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? Mary swung with a haymaker. Oh, good hard kick. Tying up here in the clinch. Look at that sweep. Beautiful. Trying to pass there, but he gets stopped. No, Garrett gets back up. No surprise there. Nice inside leg kick. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His wow! He is stumbling. That's a big look. Oh! Nice punch by Noguera. 
Beautiful right punch, follows it up with the left. Tua gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Back to over under control. Oh, he pummels there. Now he's got double underhooks. No, Garrett gets the double underhooks. He's got his back. He's got the jump. Now he's pretty deep. Oh, that's nasty. Getting tighter. Set it up, close it off, got the choke for the tap. Well, yeah, Joe, he told us during fight week he's been working dutifully on his submission game and he was gonna look for an opening here tonight. Safe to say he found one near perfect setup on the choke. It was sunk in deep and his opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop with this contest at two minutes, 24 seconds of the very first round. To claim the winner by tap out, Antonio! So there he is, your winner by way of submission, and how good was that? I mean, you talk about maximizing a UFC showcase, and that's a great example of doing just that. You see him sharing a moment here with his coaches, his training partners, and you can be sure that with the hard work done and the hay in the barn, that these guys are gonna be celebrating deep into the night after a submission win like this.